feeling like Ricky. About to go crazy. Watch me go retarded. And it's your boy Ricky Biggie, man. Uh, like I said before, man, the NBA started. So, uh, everybody see what's going on. I mean, it's preseason, but really, like, every game feel like playoffs. So, I kind of, like, understand what's going on. And, and uh, I just have to say, you, know, you always got to give credit to what the NBA has been able to do, regardless of what's going on. Every time they start their season, uh, even off season, they are able to keep everybody engaged to get everybody just can't wait um, for them to start. Uh, so I think that's that's something that's never gonna end. But um, I wanted to make this vid, so I'm outside. I'm doing it because it shouldn't have to be this hard to do it. But anyways, man, every team stacked up, man. You're looking at the Golden State, you can count them out. You're looking at uh, Clippers, obviously. Uh, them boys still healthy. Uh, you can count them out. Boston, Drew Holiday. So they basically got better uh, on defense. And I ain't gonna lie, on the first uh, preseason game, I've seen uh, Pozingas, the way he's playing, if he's playing like that, I ain't gonna lie, he's the difference maker for me. Because when he playing hard and stay off injuries, uh, it's not easy for anybody to beat them. So let's, let's just be honest, he's a difference maker. When he was in uh, the New York Knicks, he was uh, he was balling out. And when he got uh, to the Wizard, he was doing his thing, but he can't stay off injury. But I think all that has to do with how he played, he played soft. But um, from the first preseason game, what I have seen him do and how he has played, um, if he continues like this, it's going to be tough uh, for the uh, Celtics to lose against anybody. Uh, and the Bucks, obviously, uh, with uh, Dan Dollar uh, added up. Um, with Giannis, I, before all of this happened, I was talking to my guy, Ken, on TikTok, and we were talking about that, and I, I basically called it out. I'm like, this is the perfect match due to the fact that Giannis controlled the paint and them can't shoot like from half court from the logo. So that's a great combination. So obviously everything that started six times for it to work, so we all know that, but we talking about like, interior and exterior so having that be the case so i know they're going to be tough to beat and uh it don't stop there like obviously we know miami you can never say anything until you see them out period not even in the plan bro like if they make it in it's scary for everybody that's the kind of team miami is um and then pat, pat riley is not doing anything but for whatever reason he still stay relevant so all these things are things that I wanted to touch up on. Um, I ain't done there, but um, when we move, we ain't even talking about uh, the Suns. Uh, Bradley Bill, we know what he could do. KD certified, Booker certified. And you know what I'm saying, to have everybody that's like on the bench, they actually have a pretty solid bench. It's not really like all the way up, but what they have though, I ain't gonna lie to the energy they playing with on the, just a preseason game, that's already telling me a whole lot of things. But um, I want to, and it don't, it don't stop from there. You know the Sacramento, like they, they been improving every year and you expect them to basically continue with that. I don't think it's going to stop where, where it's at. What happened last year, I think it's only going to get better. So. With me saying that, with y'all seeing what they have done, it's still not over. OKC, that's a team that like y'all really in trouble. No cap, because the whole the whole team like have chemistry now, and they're all young and uh, smart, great decision maker, uh, backup point guard uh, from to the uh, starting point guard. Whoever you put the ball in, in hands is just going to get handled. 
So having that being the case and and you looking at uh the trailblazers, I ain't gonna lie, I told y'all man, Simon, uh he he needed that spot. I know they talking about like the rookie, but to me that's the guy. He undersized, but he basically played like them. Uh Dane. Dane Dollar. He played just like him. Uh shooting crazy on the outside, can attack, can do his thing, but defensively you might lack on size, but it was the same thing with for uh, Damian Lillard. So having having that being said, having that being seen, uh, I've been called that out and scoop. He can really do his thing from what I'm seeing so far. But I ain't really gonna put that pressure on the guy to you just know what I'm saying. But don't be surprised if he really does something crazy. We're not even talking about the Spurs. I can go on and on. The point I'm trying to make is man, some way, somehow the NBA find a way to keep us locked in. Let me touch on my Lakers, man. Y'all know how I feel about Lakers. I ain't no King fan, but I'm a Lakers fan, man. And Lakers, man, they they put it together. They put it together. But since my uh, since Mamba not here, so but I'm really uh, wishing the best for uh, Russ because um, taking that pay cut just to see something better i'm just saying he deserved to have something better for just being a a, a a good citizen man just taking a pay cut like that's not even a pay cut bro the kind of money he could be making but he just stepped back to allow things to flourish so i do hope everything works out for him and his family and and, and the franchise them also so yeah so you can't count Paul George out. It's the kind of game this man has. Kawhi, it's question mark always. But Paul George is not as bad, to be honest. But um, like I said, go back to the Lakers, man. Having uh, Anthony Davis coming out how he came out uh, is crazy to me. And we're not even talking about um, the chimp. I don't have faith in them like that. I just feel like they didn't add much. But the camera's still there. They still like magic with the ball all of them so i don't know how you're gonna stop that and um uh deandre sorry ass i know he changed his name whatever but you're gonna have to prove it to me because you had everything bro all you had to do get rebound you ain't been like had to work hard you just left a crazy situation now you want to talk about all that uh, i ain't gonna lie i'm not buying into all of that if it does work out for buddy I'm happy for him, but you can't tell me the situation you were in. Chris Paul was just lobbing everything to you. So you tell me this better? Come on, bro. Uh, and I'm not even, um, I'm not doing it in order. But uh, go to the Wizards, man. They, they, the light skin brothers. They're the new light skin brothers. We ain't even talking about Clay and, um, and Stealth. They're the new light skin brother, Kuz. I always have faith in Kuz. I feel like under LeBron, he couldn't really. You know, elevate to the level that he really can play. And I feel like y'all seen that. I've seen it before everybody see it. But um, what you seeing now, he been doing it. So even when uh, Kobe was there, um, basically, so it was always like there. And Clarkson with the with the Utah, uh, with the white buddy. I forgot his name. I apologize, but he played hard. You can't even call him white. Uh, marketing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got the name now. The way this man play, bro, he ball out, no cap. And I, I'm telling you, I'm not in order. Go back to the Cavalier. Man, 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 you know how Spider is. And we ain't even talking about Garland. I hope y'all said his name right. But like, LeBert, man, they deep. No cap, they deep, boys. Um, and then, it's not it's not done there, man. Like, I'm telling you, the, the whole NBA is so scary. It's to the point where like, yo, what we gonna do, what we gonna do, the Pelicans, I ain't even talking about like Zion Williamson. Zion, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna try. Zion, we ain't even talking about Zion. Trying to make a comeback from injury and all the mess that, that went down. Uh, CJ, always been professional, always, always ball out. So how you gonna count this man out? He a vet, he know how to play the game. He know how to step up when he needs to. I mean, like, like I said, I could go on for days just 
just basically talking about like how good every team is. Um, so, but I had to make a vid like this. It's not for everybody. It's for the sport people. But I had to make a vid to um, really touch on all these. And the Rockets, y'all sleep on the Rockets. You got this, this uh, Dylan Brook who's doing all he's doing, but we got all these young. The person I'm looking for, the junior guy, like what's his name? Whatever, man, this man gonna ball out crazy, crazy. Like this whole squad is, they young, they gonna do stupid things, but they gonna knock some great team down. And then guys gonna really, guys gonna really create problems. Charlotte, I mean, bro, if I, if I leave a team out, honestly, it probably not on purpose, but at the same time, it's just like, how long can this video be? And I'm not, I'm just summarizing. I'm not even going into details. That's how long we could be going about.